everyone. So in today's video, I've come up with another SQL interview question that has been asked in Walmart. So let's understand the question here. So assume that you are given a table named employee with the following schema. You are given ID which is nothing but the primary key. Name is the employee name. Department is nothing but the department the employee works in. And manager ID is the ID of the employee's manager. If in case the manager ID is null, the employee has no manager assigned to him. Now your task is to write a SQL query to find the names of managers who directly manage at least five employees in the same department. And you have to return the department name and the total number of direct reports for each manager in your output. It is also important to note that, uh, that only employees from departments with more than 10 total employees are considered in your query. So let's go through the problem breakdown here. So, so the things that you have to keep in mind is First, you need to find managers who have at least five direct reports. Second thing, the employees they manage must belong to the same department as the manager. Third thing, you only need to consider departments with more than 10 employees. And last thing is, your output should return the manager's name, their department and the number of direct reports. So based on the question, let's take a look at the structure of the input table and the output table. So here is how your input table looks like and here is how your output table looks, looks like. So your input table lists employees with their respective departments and the manager ID. And your output table shows the managers who have at least five direct reports within the same department along with their uh, department and the count of direct reports. So in this example, if you see, uh, the employee John manages six employees in the HR department if you can see in the input table. So there are more than uh, there are more than one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are uh, so there are uh, six six employees that uh, that uh, John is the manager of these six employees here. So that means that this person, this employee actually satisfies the condition of having at least five direct reports in the same department. Since as we can see that all of them belongs to the HR department here. So our output, so our output contains only this uh, employee name, John having six direct reports, which is nothing but the number of direct reports and the department name. So now I hope you understood the input table and the output table here. So let's now move on to understand how to approach this question and what would be our solution steps to, to solve this problem. So let's move on to the solution steps here. So our first step would be uh, to perform the self-join to identify direct reports. Now since the employee table contains both employees and their manager relationships, so we will need to join the table to itself to match employees with their managers. So what this, what this will do is, it will just help us count how many employees directly report to each manager and that's why we will be performing self-join. In the second step, we will just filter by department since we need to ensure that the direct reports and their managers belong to the same department. So this can be achieved by adding condition to the self-join ensuring that both the employee and the manager are from the same department. Now in the third step, we have to count the direct reports. So once we identify the managers and their direct reports, we will just group the result by the manager ID and department and count how many employees report to each manager. So we will then filter out managers who have fewer than five direct reports. Now in the fourth step, we, we are just going to consider departments with more than 10 employees. Since we had to ensure that we are only looking at departments that have more than 10 employees, so we will create a subquery that counts the total number of employees in each department. So and then we can just, uh, we can only include managers who belong to departments where the total employee count is greater than 10. So in this case, we, we, we are just uh, going to solve this problem. We are just going to apply these steps to write a SQL query. So let's now move on to the implementation. Here we will just write a SQL query in MySQL Workbench. So guys, here we are just going to apply the steps that we just discussed. So in this case, our first step was to perform self-join. So let's just do that. So in the first step, we are just going to write a SQL query with a select statement. And whatever the columns that I want to retrieve, I'll just going to I'll just write it afterwards. So this is my employee table. So I'm just giving the alias as M for now. And I'm just going to join it, join this table by itself since it is going to be self-join. So, so I have given the alias M 
just to make sure that uh, here we are we are referring to uh, the managers and here we are just referring to employees and in this case we need to identify the relationship between a manager and their direct report so here i will just apply my condition on on m dot id should be equal to be equal to e dot manager id manager id also i have one more condition that uh, the departments of these should be same so m dot department should be equal to e dot department since uh, that the employee and the manager belong to the same department and that's why we have just applied this condition and uh, one question one question that you might think of that why did we do self join here this is because uh, both managers and employees are stored in the same table and since there is no direct condition without performing a self join so what self join will help us do is to associate employees with their managers while staying within the same department so here we have just performed the self join and now i'm just going to uh, pre filter departments with more than 10 employees so for to do that i'm just going to write another query so that will be my sub query so in this case uh, i will just retrieve my department uh in another column which is nothing but the count so that i'll just apply here so this is my employee table and here in this case i will just do the group by on department and having count of id should be count of id should be greater than 10 so this so this was one of the condition before we count how many direct reports each manager has we need to ensure that only departments with more than 10 employees are considered and this is a kind of filtering condition and we we just handled it using a sub query so whatever the column that i want to retrieve I, i'll just write it here so count of id it will just give me total employees total employees okay so if i just run this query this small query what i'll be getting is i got that the hr department uh, hr department has 10 employees over here so this is the only department that actually satisfies our condition and if i just if i just remove this filtering condition i'll just get the count of uh, count of uh, employees for each department so as you can see that the department finance has four employees which does not actually satisfies our condition because we only want to consider uh, consider those departments that have more than 10 employees so in this case i will just apply my same condition that having having count of id should be greater than 10 so if i just run this i'll i'll see this so here we just join back the sub query to our main query here so join this sub query i'm just joining this sub query main query based on the condition that my department should be same so i'll just give some alias to this sub query so let's just give an alias d let's say d on m dot m dot department should be equal to d dot department now we just have to perform some grouping so now we will just apply our group by condition on id on id name and department why we are doing this so this is because grouping is necessary because we want to calculate an aggregate value which is nothing but the number of direct reports for each manager and without grouping we would not be able to use count function to determine how many employees report to each manager so that's why we are just applying the group by condition over here now a last condition was having having 
count of sorry count of e dot id should be greater than or equal to 5 okay either 5 or more than 5 it's, it's fine to use any of them and whatever the columns that we want to retrieve, I will just write it over here. So I just want m dot name, name of the employee. Then, so this this will be my manager name. Since I wanted to output the manager name in my in my query, second I wanted to report the department name. So this will be the department department. And third was the count of count of e dot id as direct reports. Direct reports. Now let's just do a quick check to this query. So here we have not specified the names of the tables that it should refer to. So it should refer to the managers employee table. So if I just run this query, if I just run this complete query, what I will be getting is, I've got my answer, say manager name John with the department HR having six direct reports. So this was my expected output. So in this case, what we did over here is, so I'll just quickly explain you again the step by step procedure. So our query had multiple objectives, say we had to find managers and their direct reports, first of all. And second, we wanted to filter departments based on total employee count. Third, we wanted to group data by manager and department to compute the number of direct reports. So the three columns that we wanted in our output, manager name, department and the direct reports. Now to do that, we actually performed self-join for manager employee relationship uh, since the managers and employees are at the same table so we need to identify the relationship between a manager and the direct reports uh, so in this case what we did there what we did here is we just uh, we just uh, gave the alias to both so here to associate employees with their manager he, we just did self self join and the left side of this of the join alias m represents managers and the right side of the joint alias E represents employees. And we just uh, applied our join condition uh, on the m.id m should be equal to e.manager id. And the department should be same. So since we are finding employees whose manager id matches the manager's id. So that's why we just applied this condition. And uh, for the same department, uh, the employee and the manager belong to the same department. That's why we just applied this condition. Next, we wanted to filter the department with more than 10 employees because this was also one of our filtering condition. And to do that, I just wrote, uh, I just wrote a sub query. So here we just count how many direct reports each manager has. So in this case, so in this query, we just count how many direct reports each manager has. And uh, to, uh, just uh, to do that, uh, we just uh, applied the group by on the department and having the condition that my count of ID should be greater than 10 since this was our condition. And, and then uh, after finding, after just writing this sub query, we just, uh, we just uh, joined it with the main query on the department again on the department since the department has to be the same so so we have here uh, we have here applied all the filtering conditions and now we just wanted to compute the number of direct reports and to do that i just applied the grouping since uh, we wanted to calculate an aggregate value which is nothing but the number of direct reports for each manager and uh, we just uh, did uh, the uh, group by clause on this and just applied the condition that our count of employees count of uh, id should be greater than or equal to five because since we only want to filter out uh, the names of those managers who who has more than five direct reports so this is how we just showed our query also i'll just quickly help you understand uh, what what, what what was the actual thought process? So self-join, uh, we just performed self-join uh, because we wanted to relate employees to their managers because both are stored in the same table and 